Hello, my name is Kirill. Welcome to our Pivot Table Master Workshop, a journey into the heart of data and analysis with a focus on sales. In today's dynamic business landscape, understanding and effectively utilizing pivot tables is a key skill for anyone dealing with large data sets. Whether you are a seasoned analyst or someone just starting to explore the world of data, this workshop is tailored to enhance your expertise and empower you to uncover valuable insights within your sales data. Our use case revolves around a fictitious fashion retail company that offers a variety of clothing items, from shorts and pants to dresses and accessories. We have extended our data set to include a broader range of products and sales information, providing a more comprehensive foundation for our analysis. To begin with, let's first create a formatted table from our clothing data, sales data. This not only organizes the data, but also lays the temporal efficient analysis using PO tables. To create a PO table, to create a formatted table, select the whole table and choose the format as table as table template option in the home tab. Meanwhile, you can choose the desired appearance of the table. Don't be afraid uh, of selecting the wrong layout because you can change it anytime by opening the same option and on the right side panel. After that, you can be sure that the new data will be automatically included in the table. A small tip, before formatting, ensure your table has headers uh, and each column is appropriately labeled. Creating a formatted table provides a solid foundation for our pivot table analysis, making it easier to navigate and understand the data. Now let's delve into the power of pivot tables to extract meaningful insights from this organized data set. We have prepared a smart table as a data source, so just select one of its cells, go to the pivot table tab, uh, and click the insert the ta table button. In the open window, please choose the create on a new worksheet option. Uh, we will now proceed to creating and setting up our pivot table. When you select one of its cells in this range, the pivot table uh, field settings window opens on the right side panel. At the top of the window, there is a list of available fields for the pivot table. As an example, let's move our fields to the appropriate sections so that the table looks presentable and we can analyze total sales based on product categories, sizes, and colors. Drag category to the rows area, place size uh, in the columns area, uh, add color to the uh, filter filters area to filter by color, and drop unit price into the values, selecting the desired calculations, uh, for example, sum. By adding fields to some sections, we emphasize the importance of selecting meaningful fields for analysis. Let's extend the example and explore different field combinations to analyze various aspects of our apparel sales data. Add product name to the uh, filters area and change unit price to total sales in the values. To improve visual clarity in the pivot table, we can easily choose a color scheme, for example, green one. Feel free to experiment with different fill combinations and arrangements in your pivot table to gain valuable insights into your sales data. Now we will focus on applying different number formats to the values within our pivot table. Choosing the right number format is crucial for presenting data accurately and effectively conveying its meaning. We'll explore three common formats, number, accounting, and custom number. Click the field settings by choosing, by choosing the, the values section or right-click any, any cell within the values area and choose the same settings. Select one of the presented number formats. 
Number format displays numbers as standard numeric values. Accounting format is commonly used for financial data, aligning currency symbols and decimal points. Custom number format allows for more customization, such as specifying decimals, places, and or adding text. Let's choose the accounting format, remove the decimals, and choose the USD currency, and click OK. By applying appropriate number formats, we have managed to illustrate the financial figures, quantities, or other numerical values pre present in our table, enhancing the overall understanding and impact of our analysis. Now let's explore how to adjust value settings within our pure table to perform different types of calculations on our data. By adjusting the value settings and calculation options, we can derive deeper insights from our data and tailor our analysis to specific business requirements. Let's open the value field settings again uh, to change the calculation type. For example, we can, we can summarize the fields by average and then the values of the table will show the average of cal the average calculations. After that, uh, we can display the percentage values as of row and see what we get. At this point, we will customize our pure table's appearance and layout to enhance readability and presentation. By applying the report layout, we can change the display settings of the pure table and the way the table data is organized and presented within the table. Choose between compact, outline, and table of uh, layouts to optimize space and readability. For example, we will apply the table of form. We can also disable and customize the display of subtotals and grand totals. And the pivot table to provide additional context or simplify the view. Uh, switch these options on or off based on your reporting needs. We will apply the grand totals only for columns to show the revenue of each size. By customizing the appearance and layout of our pivot table, we can create a visually appealing and informative report that effectively communicates our analysis of their sales data. Let's imagine we need to analyze our pure table. You can make use of filtering and sorting options or slices. This will let you easily manipulate the data to uncover trends, patterns, and insights that can inform decision-making and drive business outcomes. We can use filters in the filters area to quickly narrow down our analysis to specific categories, uh, time periods, or other criteria of interest. In addition, you can sort all fields in ascending or descending order to rank data based on specific criteria such as sales volume, profit margin, or customer satisfaction ratings. Moreover, you have an opportunity to apply advanced filter options by clicking labor or value filter for conducting more sophisticated, more sophisticated and targeted analysis. You can cancel the filter with a single click by opening the filter itself and choosing the clear option. In addition, there is also a filter section in the pure table fields window. In this section, we can add a field for which we want to perform additional filtering that is displayed at the top of the pure table. Let's add, for example, the quantity sold field uh, to the filters section. The filtering is connected with the so-called slicers. Shortly speaking, this is a more interactive tool for filtering data. Let's open the Insert tab, uh, choose the Slicer option, and uh, choose as many slicers as we wish. 
In this final step, we will explore how to add or extend the data source of our pivot table to incorporate new or an additional data. It's essential to keep our analysis up to date by including fresh data as our business evolves and new information becomes available. Uh, the new sales data becomes available, available, we can simply paste the new data in this sheet below the existing data in our spreadsheet. Upon refreshing the pivot table, upon refreshing the pivot table, it will automatically include the new data in its analysis. In conclusion, for the steps outlined in this workshop, we have successfully created a pivot table with a comprehensive analysis of clothing sales data. By utilizing the various features and functionalities of pivot tables, including formatting, sorting, filtering, and applying calculations, we have transformed all data into meaningful insights. With the completion of this workshop, we have achieved a successful outcome demonstrating the power and effectiveness of pivot tables in data analysis and decision making. So I can see some questions in the chat. And the first one is, hello, can I create a pure table without creating a formative table? So uh, thank, thank you for the question. No, you can't do that. To create a, um, to create a pure table, you surely need to create a formative table first. They are so-called uh, smart table. After that, you will be able to create a pivot table. And the second question is, can pivot tables be used to visualize large data trends and patterns effectively? If so, how? Uh, thank you for your question. Let me think. Um, sure, you can create a pivot table as you wish. Creating a pure table is a sophisticated process and always depends on your needs. As I've said before, don't be afraid of selecting different, uh, different appearance for your table and try to move fields into your areas. Uh, don't forget to turn on or off subtotals and grand totals and change the report layout. Moreover, they are, there are helpful settings like weather settings, uh, filtering, sorting, number format, etc. Eventually, you will be experienced in creating an appropriate pivot table. So, thank you for your questions and thank you all for joining us on Mastering Pivot Tables. If you need a more detailed description of the functionality of some advanced features, we can offer you a special training course on a paid basis, uh, and we will be happy to provide you with an additional discount if you send your request this month using the promo code VT24 that you can see on my screen and in the chat. Just follow the link and send your request from the website later. See you next time.